My name is Kelly Helton, and I'm the Equal Rights Advocate for the Tri-State Freethinkers. The Tri-State Freethinkers are the largest free thought group in Ohio and one of the most active in the country. And we are against the House Bill 258, the six-week abortion ban. The House Bill 258 is unconstitutional and interferes with women's rights to health care. This committee has the right to their own personal, deeply held religious beliefs, but the committee does not have the right to impose those beliefs on the women in Ohio. The six-week abortion ban imposes a particular religious belief on all women in Ohio. It is not based on science, and it is not based on medicine. We need policies in Ohio that are medically and scientifically accurate. We need policies that empower women not ones that send us back to the dark ages. If the goal of the committee is to reduce the need for abortions in Ohio, then let's have an honest conversation of how to do this without harming women. Ohio is one of the only two states that does not require sexuality education. It is legal for groups to come into Ohio schools and lie to children about sex. It is happening every day. If you really wanted to reduce the need for abortions and help women, you would pass a law that requires sex education to be medically and scientifically accurate, and that includes consent. If you truly want to reduce the need for abortions in Ohio, then contraceptives and birth control would be free and easily accessible. States like Colorado have already taken these steps and their teen pregnancy rates, STD rates, and abortion rates have gone down by 30 to 40 percent. Why are we wasting our time on abortion bans and restrictions that are harmful and unconstitutional when we could be talking about real policy change that would accomplish what we both want, reduce teen pregnancy rate and the need for abortions? In school, I was taught that we have a government of the people, by the people, for the people, but when I look back and see 19 abortion restrictions in six years, it almost seems like Ohio has a government of the men, by the men, for the men, without regard for women. As a 13-year-old girl, I often find myself to be the voice of reason in a room of unreasonable adults. I hope this is not the case today, and you will vote no on the House Bill 258. Thank you so much.